to other stories still on nation building nigerian youth have been challenged on the need to add value in their various chosen fields and equally take up leadership roles in nigeria and beyond this forms the crux of discussion at a one-day program organized by africa for africa youth initiative tagged constitutional governance speakers from various sectors one after the other admonish participants on the need to add value to the nation by contributing their quota to the nation especially in the wake of nigeria's economic instability not politics is not a dirty game yeah is your approach to it uh, like i said i spent two terms eight years in national assembly and i there's work to do so it depends on what your your attitude to it if you are going there to serve the people and you are determined to serve them of course being a child of god you will succeed but if you're also going there to steal money it will be debt because you will do dirty things to get the money there has to be something that you desire you hear the cry and when you hear that cry in your heart it will push you to do something and once your mind is set on that doing something for the country for the world for the for the nation for other people especially you will find you have a situation where you are adding value to you and before you know what's happening you are being sought after and things are happening you are making impact in your society i'm advising the youth in fact the proper stage to go into civil service is at this stage the youth have a lot to learn the orientation within the civil service is so much that if if you are not careful you may not be able to tap even 30 percent of it there is no aspect in the civil service that will not benefit you any area you can actually bring up yourself you know it's a trendy ground when you retire you become more useful to yourself than ever nobody you look at the structure of the civil service any area you want to do for yourself when you retire you have gotten a lot of experience to prepare you you even have a better life after the service every youth should have 10 hectares of land every youth should have at least a hectare of land if every youth irrespective of what you do you can be engaging in farming simple i talk about vertical farming with a land of 100 by 100 you can produce up to 20 baskets of tomatoes with vertical farming and these are consumables that must be consumed and these are things that you can do three four times in a year so if everyone is involved in it especially the youth then we'll have food security the program organized by Africa for Africa Youth Initiative is the brainchild of Pastor Henry Akasili and it is geared towards building and empowering youth for a greater future where Africans can be seen to building Africa themselves. Only our youth. The youth are not just our future, they are our present, their energy, creativity and vision are exactly what Africa needs to grow. And that is even happening now. At the Africa for Africa Youth Initiative, we are committed to changing the narratives that have defined Africa for too long. We want to reshape the social, political and socio-economic landscape of our continent, making it a place where everyone can thrive and contribute. If you and I would do a little, then all of us would have done much. This is why we are holding this Constitutional Governance Conference today. And it is one of many steps that we are taking to achieve these goals.